What is up everyone, this is Mogam here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-30746-0. So this is a PlayStation 4 update error code that's been happening on the 9.0 update that just released, and I'm going to basically show you how to essentially fix this. So first of all, if you are in the console itself and you're about to update it and you see basically it's saying over here it's installed or it's downloaded per se the system software version 9.0 what you want to actually do is if it's say if it just downloaded you want to actually delete this and do the next steps that i'm going to show and have it installed from there usually when you install it directly from the console itself it ends up causing issues now if you're the ones who are who can somehow go in but it just won't install and or if it just goes directly into like it just doesn't boot up it just keeps turning off i'm going to basically get into what we got to do so we're going to turn off the console uh completely so make sure it's not in rest mode just make sure you can either turn it off from the console if you can't turn it off from the playstation itself uh, make sure you hold the power button and it completely turns off over there uh you just have to make sure is there's no white light or blue light on the right side off the playstation 4 console so it's basically not flashing anything from there and we're gonna basically once we i, I see, see mine flashing white once that's completely turned off we're going to enter into safe mode so let's just let it turn off it's still flashing so give me a few seconds all right, it has stopped flashing. So we're going to hold on to the power button. Again, this is the same for PlayStation 4, Pro, Slim, etc. So we're going to hold on to it. Normally, there's usually a sound, and you will hear two sounds when you want to get into safe mode. I normally hold about five to eight seconds because my console doesn't make any sounds, and I let go, and I'm going to let go. And you're going to see I'm going to basically enter into safe mode. Voila. As you see, I am now into safe mode, and I am trying to find my USB wire, which is like kind of bugging out. All right, oh, it's, like, it's like mixed up into a billion wires because I suck at cable management. So to be able to basically work in here, you have to be connected via a USB cable. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So we're going to connect the controller into the USB uh, basically here. As you can see, it's working now. Be sure to not use the analog stick. You can only use the D-pad in here. So that's how you have to do it. So there's a couple of things that we're going to do. The first thing is you're going to update the system software, like I said, from here, whether it was or was not working for you, you want to do it from here directly. So you're going to go to option number three and you're going to do update using internet. So if you look over here, I'll actually have the option to update again if I wanted to. So you want to kind of take it from here and try this out. If for whatever reason this fails for you, I want you to rebuild your database and then try, or maybe even try rebuilding a database first, then trying this update because they may most likely fix that issue. Now, if for some reason that didn't work, you can do update from USB storage device and I will, I will leave a link in the description below on how to essentially do that, but that should be your next possible route. Now, if for some reason that doesn't work, you're going to have to sadly initial either try step number six or step number seven. Step number six will initialize your PlayStation 4 directly from the boot mode itself without utilizing anything. And step number seven will require you to basically have it with a reinstallation file, but with a USB 9.0 on it. Uh, I have a video on how to do this as well. I will leave it in the description below. Hopefully you don't even have to get to this point and you're good to go. You can just do step number three, uh, rebuild your database, try step number three with the update using internet. Worst case, update using USB storage device and you're good to go. Again, most of the time, if you just come here straight here, rebuild your database and update here, you should be good to go. You should not get that error any longer and that error should not be existing anymore and you should be able to quick, easily, quickly update your system console. Um, so yeah, just wanted to make that quick video literally showing you how you can easily just do it from here. This should remove this possible error that's been coming up or any other error possibly as well. Uh, so just kind of basically take it from there and then yeah, you should be good to go. Um, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and then we're coming out peace